Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jay Krishna Reddy. I work at the Sikindrabad Ishwada. I'm an orthopedic surgeon who deals with arthroplasty and arthroscopy sports medicine injuries. It's a type of shoulder replacement surgery where the socket and ball of the shoulder joint is reversed. In this if you see here, this is a bone model. The ball is in this side, that's on the arm side, whereas the socket is in the chest bone side here. Whereas in this reverse shoulder arthroplasty, we fix the ball on opposite side and socket on the arm bone side, by which the patient will gain, regain the normal movements. This is kind of reverse is done in patients with massive rotatory cuff tear. It's a muscle which is attached on the top of the ball here. If there is a massive tear which was not treated earlier and which the muzzle is retracted to the back. So in such conditions where we cannot pull the muzzle down and stitches to the bone, in such conditions we do a reverse shoulder arthroplasty and conditions where muzzle tear, ten cuff tear with the arthritis of the shoulder joint is seen. For them also we uh, prefer reverse shoulder arthroplasty. People who has failed shoulder surgeries previously, either a cuff repair which was failed or a primary joint replacement which was failed, for such kind of people we prefer reverse shoulder arthroplasty. Here, normally the shoulder is lifted up because of the cuff muscles. And now in this reverse shoulder arthroplasty, because of the cuff is not a stable, cuff is not attached to give a stable joint, we reverse the uh, joint that's uh, socket other side and the ball other side and after reverse re replacement the deltoid muscle the top muscle this muscle starts acting and uh, the movement the uh, patient can regain the normal movement so because of this reverse the mechanics of the shoulder joint is changed the deltoid muscle is now used for the lifting the arm instead of the rotatory cuff and uh, selecting ideal patient is important, educating patient is also important because post-operative they need to do proper exercises. Immediately we can start uh, passive movement exercise and gradually after two to three weeks uh, we can start active movement exercises and strengthening exercises. Patient will be pain-free and regain most of the movements to do their day-to-day -day activities. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.